Thank you for joining us for our Mountain Readers program. This year's book is called Chicks in the City, written by Matt Browning, illustrated by Ashley Teets. Out on the farm one summer day, all the cows and sheep were frolicking at play, each with a big smile on their face, but one little chicken felt quite out of place. From way up in the silo so very high, Stu stared out at skyscrapers touching the sky. He said to himself, it sure is a pity that a chicken like me can't live in the city. I want tasty lattes to start off my days, to visit galleries and museums and plays. The animals would say, the city has cars everywhere. There's no place for curious chickens out there. So he wandered the farm and gave a weak cluck and sat down to think in the back of a truck. The engine sprang to life. He almost ran, but instead, Chicken Stew quickly hatched a plan. I'll ride into the city and prove them all wrong, he said to himself as the truck rolled along. Once in the city, a new life I'll build. This fine chicken doesn't belong in a field. When he came to a stop at the first traffic light, he hopped from the truck with all of his might. He crossed at the curb, and got lost in the crowd. This place sure is big and fast and loud. Through a puddle, a car zoomed in a flash, soaking poor Stu with a great big splash. His beautiful tie was all filthy with mud. This trip to the city is already a dud. It was all too much for poor Stu to take. Coming to the city was a great big mistake. I missed the quiet farm and I've ruined my tie. He ducked into an alley and started to cry. A kitten appeared from behind a trash pile. My name's Alley Cat, she said with a smile. I'm very sad, Stu said to the kitty. There's just no place for a chicken in the city. Farm life was tough, but the city is too. Just what is a poor little chicken to do? She said, it takes time. The city's not mean. Why, just look at your tie. Your tears made it clean. See, Ali said things are already improving. If it's farm life you want, then let's get moving. Ali knew the city and didn't steer Stu wrong. They came to a farmer's market, an entire block long. The eggs are cool and the veggies I adore, but I'm still uncertain. I need to see more. Can we keep going? He asked the kitty. I'm still not sure I belong in the city. So he followed Alley Cat for two blocks or three and up ahead spotted a very tall tree. What's that? He asked as they rushed down the street. It's an orchard, said Alley, full of apples to eat. Well, all through the orchard, it was fun to play. Stu still wasn't sure he wanted to stay. It's all very busy and crowded here too. I didn't think I would miss the farm, but I do. Allie took him to a garden for all people to use. Stu just couldn't believe the good news. There were tomatoes and peppers all ripe for the picking. And Stu looked around. He spotted a chicken. This really threw chicken stew for a loop. Beside the garden was a big chicken coop. All the birds inside hoped that Stu would stay and live with them in the city each and every day. He straightened his tie and slicked back his feathers. He'd found friends that would stick together. This is just what I was hoping to find in the city, and I don't have to leave the farm behind, or you, Kitty. All over the city, farming is everywhere. It's a lesson that Stu is excited to share. I knew all along, he happily cried, that even a chicken can be city-fied. The End <laughs>